Hello YouTube, this is Nameh. Welcome to my channel, Do It Yourself Database, D-R-A-Y Database. I'm making a photo box, light box. Hey, I have to interject here. <laughs> Most of my ideas come from this gentleman right here. Let me see if I can bring him up. His name is Spiros Hanadis. Spiros Hanadis? <laughs> Sorry if I messed that up. Um, He'll teach you how to build a bigger light box. Mine's only a 5x5x20, five by five by much bigger than mine. For 7 bucks, I think mine cost me like 15 bucks. And he'll teach you all that within 6 minutes, less than 6 minutes. So I'll provide his link below if you are just building a light box. Go see him. Mine is more about mobility quick assembly, disassembly, and it's more toward my comic book collection. How to find defects in my comic books, uh, how to grade them, how to, you know, learning about all those things, and how to uh, digitize them so I could read it on my computer, big screen computer, so that it's easy on my eye because my eyesight is just horrible. Yeah. Anyway, that's what mine is for, uh, and this particular video will be broken down into chapters so you could skip, skip around, uh, and I hope you find it useful. Anyway, uh, wish me luck. Got me these foam boards, three of these, 20 by 30. I'm going to cut these in half. Three of these. Uh, I think I got this poster board. But I think it's uh, too much of a see-through. Project tape. White. And cutting edge. I could cut the cut my boards. I do have an exacto knife back there. Optionally, I got this uh, another poster board, but I think it might be too small. It's a uh, 14 by 22. I might need to get a one size bigger. This is optional for me because first I'm gonna be careful. Not bad. See how hmm. <laughs> lit up. But tapes will take care of that. Okay, if you cut 15 by, no, sorry, 30 by 20. If you cut 30 by 20, you cut that in half. It should be uh, 15 by 20. 20 this way and 15 this way. but. I guess it wasn't 30, so three of these are smaller, a little bit smaller than these, these other three, they're not exact, but still, but that's okay. These three right here, it's gonna, do, basically these three is gonna do this. I'm gonna tie these three together. C basically, I'm gonna make a C out of it. <laughs> Hold on, let me see if I can show. Okay, one more time. Messed up before.
bubble there. That's all right. I'm going to cut this off. Okay, now I got all these taped up to the edge on the edges. Really lousy job, but <laughs> it's okay. Now I'm gonna tape these together like this, and tape these three together right here, and then it's gonna fold up like this. Like that. Okay, just gonna tape here. Perfect, but it's all right. All this will go like that. Okay. Okay. I'll take care of that later. I'll take care of these later. Now this will go all three of them right here. You see, you, this won't stick. Hopefully, <laughs> three layers. Side. The space right there, space right there is really maintained. So I'm gonna put it like this. Pull that over. So fold this over. So works. Oops. That's my blade. I'll look for that later. Okay. So it goes like this.
Okay, now I need to cut these two pieces into 15 by 15, I think. Yeah. This is 16 right here, it should be about 15. One on this side and one on this side. These two being the Okay, this is about 15 by 15. What happened is uh, I used the extra edge right there. And that's why I, was, why I was off. It wasn't this board that was off. But it's okay, it worked out fine. It, that's how it should have, it worked out fine. Actually, I couldn't have planned it better. on this also, paste on these. Yeah. Okay. One at one and a half inch border. I'm gonna cut this out. And I'm gonna do that same to this. Yeah. Didn't come out very good. Blade got dull, so exacto knife. You need to sharpen these things or get new blades or whatever. But that's okay. It's not gonna affect the function. to be so precise but I don't Okay, okay, let's see how did how much of a uh, actually not bad if I give it a distance I do that probably no but okay I think I will use this. Okay, pull tab on. Eh. Make a pull tab on one side, like this. All right. Here it is, my light box. I go ahead. And these are just pull tab. I'll take it off. Okay, I'm gonna put a hole right there, small hole for my camera. So it'll be on top. Okay, let's disassemble it. Let's pull tab here. Okay. Let's temporary put it there. Temporary put it there. Put it right there. That's that. On this side. I didn't put a tape on the bottom. Pull 
put that there. Put that there. To go together. Now this one is pulled in. Pull that. Ooh. So this is all I have to carry. Okay, how do I inspect my comic books? Again, my eyesight is horrible, right? I could do visual inspection like this. Take a little, little watch glasses, or whatever you call those, magnification glasses, and look at it that way. But I decided that I could uh, take a video of it, you know, record as a video, okay? A bit, take a video of it, right? And Chris is right there that ca caused a little color breaking tick right there. There's another tick right there, I think. I don't know what caused these, but there's a little white dot and a few scratches right there paint chips, color chips, whatever you call those. Just round it off at the corner. That's, I think that's a big penalty grading, but just a little color rub on the edge. That's the biggest one. Let's look, turn around. Okay. White chip. There's a slight tick right there. Some probably need a cleaning there. The Chris has come all the way through it, has been folded, looks like. The whole magazine at the corner. Chip. Okay. So, yeah, that's, uh, how I would, in, I would also inspect the inside as well. But uh, that's how I would do it because, but uh, I will normally have my phone on there. I made a template for my iPad and then also my phone on this little just trace of, so that I could place the phone just immediately and over my iPad immediately. And just, so you would, stay consistent from one photo session or video session to the next, you know? And if I put flat here and zoom all the way up, photo of that should be pretty consistent if I center it. Yeah. So that's how I inspect my comic books.
My son asked me, Dad, why don't you just buy one? They have a cheap ones uh, at Amazon that does well. Like this one right here. It even has a, a camera hose on the top. Uh, you could take a picture on the side. You know, maybe I just need to find the right size. That doesn't look like right. That doesn't look like it, so it could be right size for me. I want my comic books to open up. But uh, I built this so that I'll figure out what I what my needs are. For instance, I do I do collect comic books. I do collect LP records. Now, I realized that I could only put one LP records on current size, you know, 15 by 15 by 20. Now, if I do gatefold size, where I could, you know, I spread up the gatefold and I want to take the whole picture. Well, okay, then I, I, I just increase the, the width, right? Well, no, because now my camera, we're not, <laughs> not need to make it higher, so... So I gotta figure all that out, you know. <laughs> and being able to build one like this, I now I could easily build another one, you know, to the exact uh, size that I need. Uh, and probably that one probably is not gonna move anywhere because it's. <laughs> but this one I wanna be able to just move around, uh, do my comic book. Uh, what do you call it? Comic book digitizing, I guess. Uh, another th problem with the uh, not having a let's say uh, not having a light box is these different glares at different angles. I, I captured this pretty good at ninety degrees, I think. But uh, sometimes I position my camera wrong, and I may not have a right angle. Even though I put 45 degree uh, lights, sometimes they still have glare problems. A light box diffuses all the light, so uh, now I do need you know consider other lights in the room. I need to turn those off and stuff. I need to remember that. But uh, yeah, it's uh, that's one of them. That's one glare problem I have. There's all, all kind of different glare problem. This one has glare right there. Glare moves around. It really depends on how you, especially with the modern comics, glare moves around. This is one that I recently took. Uh, with my same comic book, you see the glare is right there. Now, where's mine? Uh, just recent one on the light box. Where's that one? Uh, that one. Now, there's still glare right there. I need a. And even though I spread the comic book out with my hand, <laughs> there's my dirty hand. Now I need to, when I'm making these videos, I need to wash my hands. <laughs> and manicure and all that. Because <laughs> I really don't want to show my dirty hands and yeah, long fingernails and stuff. But anyway, this, uh, I'm trying to figure out where's, where's, I'm trying to figure out, you know, you know, removing glares and stuff. That's uh, tough. So I thought light box would help. Uh, you know, I could determine what standard magnitude will be for this comic book. There's a lot of white space, for instance. I have to zoom in a lot of times for me to look into it. Look into text, for instance, here. Yeah. And this is how I like to read now because. This on a comic book, I could barely read. I have to focus and concentrate. But uh, with this, I could just, you know, zoom in, zoom out. So, you know, Lightbox really helps, really helps. Anyway, I hope uh, people find this useful. Till next time, let me know.